Welcome to WJMH Media's live production of the 52nd Annual Marshall County Chamber of Commerce Christmas Parade. We're excited to kick off the holiday season here in Moundsville, West Virginia. Happy Holidays! I'm Tony Summers alongside the very talented WJMH anchor, Maria Evans. Thank you for joining us on the WJMH Media YouTube page. Our crew is set up at the Marshall County Chamber of Commerce on the corner of 7th Street and Jefferson Avenue and is ready to bring you full coverage of this wonderful holiday tradition. WJMH Media's goal is to connect, entertain, and inform the local communities. We are proud to bring back this year as the official production team for the Marshall County Chamber of Commerce Christmas Parade. While you will see Maria, WJMH reporter Ella Hun, and WJMH meteorologist Emily Gatz on air today, there are many students working behind the scenes to make this production possible. Today's broadcast crew consists of over 10 students from Marshall County Schools, including both John Marshall High School and Sherrard Middle School. Ella will be joining us soon with some special guests, as will Emily with our afternoon forecast. We'll check in with both of them in just a few minutes, but first, we'd like to recognize the sponsors of the Marshall County Chamber of Commerce Christmas Parade. Without them, this event wouldn't be possible. This includes today's Santa Premier Sponsors, the City of Moundsville, the Marshall County Commission, and Southwestern Energy. We would also like to thank the following Silver Bells sponsors, Dr. Gary Lewis, Bayer Heritage Federal Credit Union, EQT, Dr. Angela Pichos, PLLC, Mike McCoy with State Farm Insurance, The Green Tab, iHeartMedia, and Main Street Bank. Maria, the parade will be starting soon, but as we wait, several of today's sponsors will be joining WJMH reporter Ellen Hunt. This includes Moundsville City Manager Rick Healy, who is representing Santa Premier Parade sponsor, the City of Moundsville. He joins Ella now. Ella? Without the City of Moundsville, today's parade wouldn't be possible. How does the City of Moundsville and all of its departments assist with making the parade happen? Well, it starts really early on, Ella, with the uh, street department. They set up a, uh, a schedule of all the barricades because so many streets have to be, have to be blocked off. So the street department and the police department are the two big ones that, that contribute to the uh, success of the parade. Um, what are some projects the city is currently working on? Well, our big project sits right up the street here, and that's our new city building. Uh, we have a 26,000-square-foot, uh, uh, three-story structure that we're being constructed. Um, that is started now and will continue throughout the winter and hopefully open about this time next year. All right, thank you. Welcome. Happy holidays. I'm Ella Hun. Thanks, Ella. There are two other Santa Premier sponsors, including Southwestern Energy and the Marshall County Commission. Representing the Marshall County Commission today is Commissioner John Grzynskis. He joins WJMH reporter Ella Hunt along the parade route now. Ella? Why is this event so important to the community? Well, this is such a wonderful tradition for Marshall County. People have been bringing their kids down to the, to the parade for years, and now those kids have grown up and they're bringing their children. So it's, it's something that uh, we have terrific participation and it just starts the season off and puts everybody in the mood. Thank you. Happy holidays, I'm Ella Hun. Thanks Ella. Along with the Santa Premier sponsors, we'd also like to once again recognize the Silver Bell sponsors. These include Dr. Gary Lewis, Bear Heritage Federal Credit Union, EQT, Dr. Angela Petros, PLLC. Mike McCoy from State Farm Insurance, Green Tab, iHeartMedia, and Main Street Bank. The Marshall County Chamber of Commerce also has many corporate sponsors. This includes West Banco and Bordis and Bordis. These corporate sponsors help out with many things, including sending representatives to serve as judges for today's parade, Maria. The judges will be viewing the many unique floats that will be driving past us and awarding a few entrances that stand out for their creativity. One of today's judges is West Bengal representative and Marshall County Chamber of Commerce board member, Katrina Boner. She's standing by now with WJMH reporter, Ella Hun. Ella? What are you and the other judges looking for from today's parade entrance? So I think just this year, like every year, we are just looking for children and people having a great time on their float or um, in their band or however they're representing in um, the Christmas parade. Of course, this year's theme is Joys of Christmas. So whoever is representing and embodying that theme the best, I think will be the winner today. All right, thank you. Happy holidays. I'm Ella Hun. 
Thanks a lot, Ella. Before we wrap up our interviews this afternoon, we'd like to check in with Bordis and Bordis attorney, my cousin and an incoming board member here at the Marshall County Chamber of Commerce, Jody Cunningham. She's going to fill us in on some great happenings here in Marshall County. WJMH reporter Ella Hunt is with her now. Ella. I know that this is one of the Chamber's biggest events of the year, but can you give me some information on the other ways that the Chamber is involved in the community and some other events being planned for the year? Sure, this is one of our big events, but we also are involved um, in a lot of different things. Um, we just had the Tree Gala. Each year we hold that um, to get into the season and we always donate to a charity. This year it was Pause for the Cause at John Marshall, so that does a really a lot of great things. Um, we also are collecting toys for the Caring Tree this year. Um, we're taking those for the till the end of November. Um, so we're just involved in a lot of different events, but um, mostly we're just trying to help out all our local businesses and support them the best we can. And this is one of the ways we like to do that. All right, thank you. Happy holidays, I'm Ella Hun. Thanks, Ella. As a reminder, this afternoon's production of the Marshall County Chamber of Commerce Christmas Parade presented by WJMH Media will be available to watch at any time right here on our YouTube page. Just search WJMH Media. But if you would prefer a DVD copy of the event, you can purchase one by contacting WJMH Media at 304-843-4476. That's 304-843-4476. Turning our attention to the weather now. Unlike last year's parade, when we saw temperatures in the upper 40s with no rain, things are a little different this year. Just a little bit different, <laughs> Maria. For today's weather forecast, let's check in with WJMH meteorologist Emily Gatz. Emily? Be thankful you're watching this from home. Although it's sunny, temperatures are in the lower 30s. When it's windy, temperatures are in the 20s. There's no chance of snow during today's parade. Happy holidays, I'm Emily Gatz. Thanks, Emily. It's almost time for the start of the 52nd Annual Marshall County Chamber of Commerce Christmas Parade. But first, we would like to recognize Hilltop Elementary School first grader Joey Hodge. Joey submitting the winning entry for this year's parade theme contest, The Joys of Christmas. Upon winning, the Marshall County Chamber of Commerce awarded him with a $100 cash prize and a pizza party for his classmates in his honor. I have to tell you, Maria, we went to Hilltop Elementary with the Marshall County Chamber of Commerce, and he loved that big wad of $100 bills. Really? So his classmates <laughs> gave, gave him a standing ovation, and it was, a, it was great to see Joey receive the award in person. Today's parade broadcast is made possible thanks to a lot of preparation leading up to the event. This includes work both here at the Marshall County Chamber of Commerce office and back in the WJMH Media classroom. We've been working hard leading up to today's event parade, and are very happy to have the opportunity to be able to provide this live broadcast to the community. Please stay tuned after the parade's conclusion for the credits from today's event, which will feature some of the beautiful trees and wreaths that were featured at the Christmas Tree Gala this year. It will also give you a chance to see if you know anyone working on today's parade broadcast crew. Not only have the students of WJMH Media been working hard to bring you today's production, but also many broadcasts throughout the year. Don't forget you can watch all episodes of WJMH Reports, a half-hour show produced by WJMH Seniors, along with WJMHS announcements, which are brought to you by daily by WJMH Juniors on our YouTube page. You can find always find links to these regular productions on our social media pages, including Facebook and Twitter. Beyond the regular broadcasts, WJMH Media will also continue to bring you more holiday content this year. Stay tuned as we will be at the John Marshall High School Music Department's production of Monarch Tidings on Thursday, December 8th and the John Marshall High School CPA. We hope you can join us live for the event. If not, we'll have it on our YouTube page. The holiday season is one of our favorite times as a production crew, and we're excited to bring you those productions along with today's broadcasts. There are so many great clubs and organizations participating today, including floats, dance studios, and school bands. They will be here soon, Maria. Everyone here in attendance is excited to kick off the holiday season with the 52nd Marshall County Chamber of Commerce Christmas Parade. And we hope those of you watching this event live on our YouTube page are too. While we are waiting for the parade to get to our location on Jefferson Avenue and 7th Streets here in Moundsville, 
I would like to talk about a great production happening tonight and tomorrow at John Marshall High School, and you happen to be one of the participants. Yes, I am. It is John Marshall High School's production of The Nutcracker. It is the play, not the ballet. Our director, Erin Bond, wrote the script, and she thought that it'd be a fun way to bring to life um, a traditional uh, show, but with a new twist. Um, there's so many different characters, and it's so much fun. And if you want to come see it, you can tonight. Doors open at 6.30, and it starts at 7. Or tomorrow's our matinee. The doors open at 1.30, and it starts at 2. We hope you can come join us. It is a great way to start off the holiday season like we are today with the parade. Emily Gatz told us it's in the 30s, yes. but the wind is gusting between 15 to 25 miles per hour, so it feels more like in the lower 20s. But it's sunny, so if you're watching yes. in the comfort of your own home and you see the sunshine, you might think, oh my, it has to be really nice right now in Moundsville, <laughs> West Virginia. The weather is nice, but it's what us meteorologists call a lukewarm day. Do you know what that means? It lukes more <laughs> than it, it is. <laughs> yeah, see, I always have to tell the bad dad jokes. Yeah, that's but your job. Yes, it is. <laughs> So it is a lukewarm day. It looks a lot warmer than it really is. But bes beside the point of the cold temperatures, it's still a great day in Moundsville. Yes, it is. No rain or snow. We've had snow the last couple of days, so that's nice. We don't have to worry about that today. So last night we winter. did the Wheeling Christmas Parade for yes, WTRF-TV. And we sat up in the snow yesterday afternoon oh at about 12.30, 12.45. It was coming down, and we had about an inch of snow on the set before the talent arrived. So we wow. got that taken care of, and it was a great parade. We had a great time. That's, yes. I heard it was a lot of fun. I wasn't there. I was doing the production of The Nutcracker. We had our opening night for the public yesterday, so that's where I was. Once again, we want to thank you for joining us here on the WJMH Media YouTube page for the 52nd Annual Marshall County Chamber of Commerce Christmas Parade. If you are just joining us, I'm Tony Summers alongside Maria Evans. She is an anchor for WJMH Reports, which you can see on this YouTube page, along yes, with WLU-TV, Comcast Channel 14, which is now Xfinity yes. Channel 14. So we have a lot of productions that we are doing. We also do OVAC events. We do the OVAC All-Star Football Game in July. We also do the OVAC Wrestling Championships at West, Banco Arena, uh, yeah, at, a, at West Banco Arena. We also do basketball. So we have a lot of upcoming events for the students. And it looks like oh. the first responders I hear the are sirens. here. <laughs> As always, today's parade will start with multiple first responders, including the Moundsville Police Department and the Marshall County Sheriff's Department. Also joining us on the parade route is Ma Marshall County EMS, the Moundsville City Fire Department, and the Moundsville Volunteer Fire Department. You will also see the Glendale Volunteer Fire Department, which is celebrating, get this, 96 years of service to the community this year, along with the Glendale Police Department. Wow, that's incredible. McMechan and Benwood are also being represented today as we welcome the City of Benwood and Chief Schilling from the City of McMechan Police Department. Roberts Ridge, Washington Lands, and Cameron Volunteer Fire Departments are all participating today as well. All first responders joining us would like to wish everyone safe and happy holidays, and we would like to thank them for their service to our community. Right now you are seeing the City of Moundsville Police Department. We have police chief with us today. Tom Mitchell is head of security for WJMH Media. We want to thank him for doing an excellent job each and every year. The reason we have him here, Maria, is because we have a lot of cabling that runs across the sidewalk. We do not want anyone to get injured when walking yes. past our vantage point. So he helps us keep everyone safe. Exactly. So we thank him for that. That's a beautiful shot there, Maria, of all of our first responders, those brave men and women who run to the scene of something that a lot of us, quite frankly, would be running from. Because yes. if there's a fire, we get out and they are the ones who go in. Yeah, we call them 911 and they come and they help get on the scene. There is Sheriff Helms. He was just on your screen and now we have the Marshall County EMS. They're the men and women who come take care of us when we're injured, yes. sick.
We still have the Marshall County EMS on our screen. A few more first responders, and then the official start to the 52nd annual Marshall County Chamber of Commerce Christmas Parade. Those are beautiful pieces of equipment there. Yes, they are. <laughs> nice and white. If I had yes. it, it would look black. I it know, would be they very take black. great care of them. <laughs> Next up, the Moundsville Veterans Honor Guard provides the final salute for Valley veterans and their families, which they completed 127 of in 2021. They cover a 50-mile radius of Moundsville and participated in 36 community events last year. The president of the organization is Mike Kuzma, and their eldest active member is Ellsworth Sherrick, who is 92 years young. The 2019 Ford van was received via donation from the Marshall County Commission. The Moundsville American Legion Post 3 is a veterans organization that supports veterans and all local organizations such as baseball, Boy Scouts, Cub Scouts, and Girl Scouts. They will be on your screen soon. And Post 3 is also the home of the Moundsville Veterans Honor Guard. They are a part of the Moundsville Veterans Honor Guard 2 yes. and the American Legion Post 3. So mm -hmm. thank you so much to those brave men and women who served our country and are yes. still serving us now by honoring the fallen. Yes. And we already talked about American Legion Post 3. They are based here in Moundsville, West Virginia. Behind American Legion Post 3, we have the Moundsville Fire Department. In Moundsville, Maria, we have the Moundsville Fire Department and we have the Moundsville Volunteer Fire Department. So wow. you are seeing right now the squad of the Moundsville Fire Department. And right behind them, coming onto your screen right now, is the Moundsville Volunteer Fire Department. Look at all these trucks decorated. They look so beautiful. They, they must have worked hard on it, yeah. Well, but naturally, because they're red, they're it always... It just goes with the season, they're always. They're always festive. Yes, they're always prepared <laughs> for these parades. <laughs> the Moundsville Volunteer Fire Department has the big engine and rescue truck on your screen right now. It has tinsel on it. It's red yes. and black. We've got the parade wave there. <laughs> Great job. <laughs> she must have practiced that at home. <laughs> A youngster there. Yes. The Moundsville Volunteer Fire Department isn't finished yet. Here is one of their engines, 5013. The Moundsville Volunteer Fire Department is located on 1st Street in Moundsville. And the Moundsville Fire Department was located at the city building, but it is now under construction because... Yes we are going to get a brand new city building in Moundsville oh, that here will soon. be wonderful. And now here you see the police Glendale will be coming into your view soon. Right now we got the last of the Moundsville volunteer firefighters. Yep. And there's Glendale. <laughs> the home of the Monarchs. Yes. The old fashioned Glendale wow. volunteer fire department fire truck. Look at that. I know. <laughs> and here's one of Glendale's fire department's ambulances. We can see right inside the cab there. Yeah, that's a great shot. One more of the Glendale Fire Department, engine 401, waving, saying Merry Christmas. Thank you for serving the city of Glendale. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You see what I see? I see something green. What yes. is that? I believe it's the Grinch. The Grinch. He's here to steal Christmas. He's always naughty, that one. Yeah. He's a mean one. <laughs> he is. <laughs> he has his head sticking out of the window. Probably looking to steal some of the kids' candy. Oh, yeah. Shame on him. <laughs> I wonder if he's a local guy. Don't know. Now you're seeing the Roberts Ridge Volunteer Fire Department on your screen, serving the rural areas of Marshall County. 
I don't know if you know this or not, Maria, but Marshall County is the largest county in the northern panhandle of West Virginia. Really? We have the largest, not population, yes, but the size of the county. Marshall County is the largest county in the northern panhandle. There's a little Grinch in the (laughs) off-road vehicle there. Following the theme. But I bet that Grinch is a nice nice one. Nice one, yes. (laughs) I bet that is not a Grinch. Yep. Up next, we have more from Roberts Ridge Volunteer Fire Department, 16013. And walking along beside them, we have some of the veterans handing out candy along the parade route to the youngsters. Next, you'll see the Washington Lands Volunteer Department. I bet they're nice and warm inside of those vehicles. I was just thinking, we're out here freezing. The cold. (laughs) (laughs) Although, they are deserving of some warmth today. Yes. Either through Mother Nature or the heater inside the truck or just from the love of everyone saying thank you for your service. Yes. Mozart is up next. Thanks for coming down from Mozart to be a part of the 52nd Annual Marshall County Chamber of Commerce Christmas Parade. Engine number 77 from Mozart, West Virginia. It says black sheep on the front of it. And right behind that, another another one. (laughs) The black Black sheep. sheep. from Mozart Fire Department, established in 1911. Thank you all for your services and thank you for being a part of the Chamber of Commerce Christmas Parade. Next is the Girl Scout Troop 4609. It has been a troop for over 20 years and includes scouts from grades to kindergarten through nine. Girl Scout Troop 349-22 meets at the, Pe- at the Pleasant Hill Methodist Church in Sherrard and is comprised of 70 scouts in Cades Kindergarten through 12. They earn badges, receive activity patches, and go on field trips and enjoy being a part of the Girl Scout Troops. Were you ever a Girl Scout? I was actually when I was in second and third grade. It was oh, a lot of fun. Nice. Yes. So you enjoyed earning the badges and the patches and going on field trips yes i did we did all of those i remember one year we went to one of the hospitals and we gave them with big cookies it was a lot of fun here comes the grand marshal yes this year's marshall county chamber of commerce parade grand marshal is jim cochran also known as bugs jim has been reporting the news for 70 years and i have to say i love jim cochran i talk to him two or three times a week He has been in the newspaper business forever, and we appreciate that. And that beautiful young lady that you're seeing in the back seat right now, that is his granddaughter, Lily. So that is Grand Marshal Jim Cochran from the Wheeling News Register, and he still has a weekly, he does, he has a weekly column titled the Marshal Memo. Oh, I hear a band. So do I. I believe it's the Marching Trojans of Moundsville Middle School. They consist of 40 6th, 7th, and 8th grade students. They are under the direction of Mrs. Sulawiki, who has been the band director at MMS for 20 years. The Trojans Band received three superior ratings at the 2021 West Virginia State Concert Band Festival and had two percussion ensembles perform at the WV State Music Conference in Charleston last March. And I also see some Trojan cheerleaders at the front as well. My niece Lily is a Trojan. There she is out there. She's laughing in the back (laughs) row there. Lily Wells, my niece. You know what, Maria? I think it's time to take a listen to the Moundsville Middle School Marching Trojans. The City of Moundsville is proud to be a sponsor and the host 
of the City of Marshall County Chamber of Commerce Christmas Parade. The city manager is Rick Healy, and council members include Mayor Judy Hunt, Vice Mayor Sarah Wood Shaw, David Wood, Gene Saunders, Ginger DeWitt, also Randy Chamberlain, and Brianna Hickman. Now we have the City of Moundsville Sanitation Department, and Frank Stocklask is the Public Works Director for Moundsville, and he has a great crew. Yes, Frank has responsibility for overseeing the City Street Department and the Sanitation Department. He was supposed to get out of his vehicle and show us a festive shirt, but he didn't pull over. <laughs> and his crew will have this parade route cleaned up in no time. I bet they will. I've seen their work, and they're pretty speedy. <laughs> they are. Who's up next? Oh, up next is Take a Bell Dance Center. They have locations in both Moundsville and Wheeling and specialize in many genres of dance for all levels. Today, there are 30 dancers joining the parade route. They are under the leadership of owner and director, Miss Chelsea Loy. They take pride in passing their love of dance on to area children of all ages. They are located on Jefferson Avenue in Moundsville. Now, last year I asked you if you could dance, and you said no. However, if someone goes <laughs> to see the Nutcracker tonight at 7 o'clock in the JMCPA or tomorrow at 2 o'clock, they will see you dance. I do dance, yes. Um, all, of the, all of the cast of the Nutcracker do, uh, do at least one dance. So if you come, clap along and see amazing dances um, choreographed by Aaron Bond, our director. Take a Bow Dance Center also provided us with bubbles this afternoon. Yes. Auto Choice is owned and operated by the Hunnell family and is a proud supporter of the Marshall County Chamber of Commerce Christmas Parade. They have two locations, one in Bel Air, Ohio, and one right here in Moundsville. This year they are celebrating the joys of Christmas in a traditional way. All, their, all of the people walking are decorated and dressed up as characters from Charlie Brown. I think I saw Snoopy out there. I Linus. think I see, yeah, I think I see the pig pen and Charlie Brown, of course. Yes. Where's the little redheaded girl? Uh, I don't know. I don't see her. That's my favorite just because my wife's a redhead. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Our friend Mentor, Thomas Schrader III, always referred to as the little redheaded girl. <laughs> Blazers Auto Body and Towing has been serving Marshall County and the Ohio Valley since 1977. They offer 24-hour towing and recovery service and a full-service auto body shop. And on the back of the truck is a 1937 Dodge pickup truck. 1977, that's the year I was born, so Blazers Auto Body and Towing has been around for 45 years. That's a long time, isn't it? <laughs> yes, I can feel it today after <laughs> being in a parade yesterday, too. Aerialettes is located in Sherrard and is in its 31st year. The studio has approximately 300 students with nearly 34 as a part of the competition team. They enjoy performing locally and competing across the country. Now, you won't be doing any flips like that tonight oh, no. or tomorrow, right? No, okay. no one does any flips like that. Sorry to disappoint. Although, Holden, someone behind the scene, does do a cartwheel. Area Let's is owned by Missy Ross and has an additional 10 teachers. The staff strives to help each and every child reach his or her fullest potential. I like the red outfits. Me too, they're very festive. Some of them have candy cane socks on, some have elf socks on, but they all look good in their red, white, green, looking like Christmas, Christmas time in Moundsville, West Virginia, thanks to the aerialettes. Yes. Some they even have some festive headpieces on. Some of them have reindeers on or just some colorful scrunchies in their hair. Really brings the holiday alive. Right in the back, we have the youngest of the young dancers. <laughs> <laughs> they look comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> they get a free ride. Yeah. I smell pizza. So do I. Domino's. That's what we had for lunch. Yes, that's what it is. It's very good. <laughs> This year, they are featuring Gnome for the Holidays, as magical gnomes help your wishes come true. The gnomes wish to bring good fortune to your home throughout the year and remind you that magic of the holidays never ends. This entry was decorated by the crew at Moundsville Domino's. They heard that gnome's favorite pizza is from Domino's. My grandma would love that float. She loves gnomes. 
Marshall County Emergency Management joins the parade today with its mobile command truck and one of its emergency response vehicles. The mobile command truck can be utilized as a unified command center, backup 911 center, and communications unit, as well as an incident support unit during emergencies and disasters. I have been inside that Marshall County Mobile Command Center. It is nice. They take that to any disaster or any emergency and can set up in moments and have correspondence with other people. That's incredible. Wow. All right, Maria. All right, let's see. Do you like reading books? I do. I love reading. It's one of my favorite things to do. It's one of my favorite hobbies. Perhaps you could go to the Moundsville Marshall County Public Library. Maybe I will. The Moundsville Marshall County Public Library offers many services to the community, including public computers and printing services. They also offer multiple programs for babies and toddlers, as well as a homeschoolers program. The staff at the library is always happy to see and serve the community's needs. Oh, here comes Spike and Buck from the Wheeling Nailers. They will be celebrating the holiday season at their Holiday Palooza game on Saturday, December 3rd at 7.10 p.m. That night will include a winter wonderland of treasures as local businesses come together to create the Holiday Village. Be sure to wear your ugly sweater too that night. Yes. Oh, up next, I hear a band, the Cameron Junior Senior Marching Band, includes students from 6th to 12th grade and is under the direction of Christian Oliver. The band is coming off a four-year hiatus and is excited to contribute to school spirit and pride in Cameron. 25 members this year, and the band continues to grow. Yes, and they sound great. Oh, up next, here comes the Central Knights and McNinch Lions flag football teams and cheerleaders. The Knights finished the season this year in second place. Congratulations. Wow, yes. Congratulations. And they look very excited to be here today. They do. The football season has come to an end. Up next is Dynamic Dance Force. It's located in Wheeling and is directed by Miss Cassidy Sansone. The center opened its doors in 2021 and offers classes in multiple styles of dance, cheer, and acrobatics for ages 18 months through adults. This includes with recreational and competition programs. This group is excited to make its debut appearance in the Marshall County Chamber of Commerce Christmas Parade to share the holiday spirit. We have the 2022 West Virginia Country Roads Festival Teen Queen Reagan Miller, who is riding along with EXP Realty, which has 140 agents in West Virginia. Locally, it is Chris Thomas. Reagan is a sophomore at John Marshall High School, and she is also a competitive cheerleader at Angels All Stars and also takes dance at Take a Bow Dance Center. EXP Realty. Chris Thomas is your local agent. Fork Ridge Baptist Church is a combination of Temple Baptist Church of Moundsville and Grace Church of Pleasant Valley. The church was reopened 18 months ago and has been completely remodeled. They meet each Sunday evening at 6 p.m. and rotate between Pastor Jim Higginson of Temple Baptist Church Pastor Danny O'Neill of Grace Church and Greg Knight of Cameron Baptist Church. They invite you to come and worship with them. We have another church coming up, Maria. Yes, we do. The Glendale United Methodist Church is sharing the joy of Christmas this year with a nativity scene. The children in the back are dressed up as people from the Christmas story. Glendale UMC is celebrating 113 years in the community and is excited to continue sharing God's love with their neighbors. Nativity scene, there is the big star. Yeah. While we have a second, I would like to welcome you once again to the 52nd annual Marshall County Chamber of Commerce Christmas Parade. If you are just joining us on the WJMH Media YouTube page, I'm Tony Summers alongside Maria Evans and we now have Grandview Park, which is showing some of the joys of Christmas with some of our favorite Christmas characters. Buddy the Elf, Frosty the Snowman, and the Pink Bunny from the iconic Christmas story, just to name a few. Also joining the GVP crew is the mountain biking group in their best reindeer attire. 
Grand View Park wishes everyone a safe and happy holiday season. Some of these cyclists can do tricks on their bikes, see? Oh, there's one. Popping a wheelie right there. Careful of the other bikers. The bikers, yes. <laughs> We do not want any accidents. We have a unicyclist there too. Very wow. good. Takes a lot of skill. I am lucky at 45 years old to walk up and down a pair of stairs. <laughs> There's no way I could ride a unicycle. <laughs> Perhaps you could ride a unicycle in tonight's oh. Nutcracker. I don't know. I don't know how she feels about adding that in. I think that might be a little dangerous across the stage. <laughs> there is the unicyclist again coming back through. I don't think I have enough balance for that. <laughs> Me Next either. Next up is the Green Acres Power Sports. It's one of the Valley's largest dealers. Of nope, we have HP Excavating and Septic Cleaning that specializes in septic tank installation and repairs. They also provide general excavation services. Thank you for being a part of the Marshall County Chamber of Commerce Christmas Parade and being in the Ohio Valley for more than 45 years. It is locally owned by Allen and Mary Ellen Clyburn. The truck is being driven today by Kenny Horton. Happy holidays from the Marshall County Transportation Team. Marshall County Transportation Team includes bus operators who have been with the county as long as 20 years, along with substitute bus operators, mechanics, and the secretary. The trans director of transportation is Mr. Harry Midcalf. Their float represents the joys of Christmas, and they believe family time together at the holidays is priceless. And these are the men and women who get our students of Marshall County to and from school safely every day of the week. Looks like they're having a good time there. Yeah. Who's that, Cousin Eddie in the back there? Looks like it. Up next, we have Moundsville Cub Scout Pack 78, which is the largest pack in the county and includes boys and girls in grades kindergarten through fifth. Sherry Henry is the Cub Master, and the pack is led by trained volunteers. Their mission is to prepare young people to make ethical and moral choices over their lifetime. The Cub Scouts are always volunteering and giving back to the community. Oh. I see a trolley. So do I. Here comes Overtas, Queen of the Valley. It is a Freightliner trolley bus. It is used for special events such as proms, weddings, and parades, and is decorated with over 3,500 lights. And has a lot of youngsters inside, as you can see. For more information on reserving the trolley for your special event, call Rebecca, 304-232-2190. That's 304-232-2190. 2190 to reserve Overtas Queen of the Valley trolley bus. I love trolleys because of Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. Yes, I loved that show as a kid. Up next is Studio MC. It takes pride in being a totally non-competitive environment where everyone is welcome. The studio is proudly under the direction of Miss Megan Campbell and currently has over 500 students ages 15 months through adult. Studio MC is still gladly accepting new students and would like to wish everyone a very Merry Christmas and a happy and healthy New Year. They're also dressed in red and very sparkly today. Look They'll at those, those boots. I know, and those warm, big, fluffy hats. <laughs> <laughs> Their heads are warm. Yeah. I hear another band. So do I. Let's see. I'm excited. I think it's another Marshall County Schools oh, band. Oh, maybe. They Who sound do we have? great. It is the Sherrard Middle School Band. Sherrard Middle School Band is under the direction of Mr. Joshua Garrett and includes ensembles such as concert band, African drama dance, steel band, and a percussion ensemble. The band, along with the Sherrard Middle School Choir, will present its annual winter concert on Tuesday, December 13th at 6.30 p.m. in the John Marshall High School Center for Performing Arts. Oh, I just saw my sister on the camera, Grace Evans. She plays the trumpet in the band. Let's take a quick listen to the Sherrard Middle School Marching Band. The Farmhouse Peddler Floral and Home Decor is Moundsville's newest full-service florist, but its designers have over 55 years of combined experience. 
They carry a full line of country and farmhouse decor and flesh flowers for all occasions. You can visit them on First Street in Moundsville. Just Right Lawn Care is a new family-owned business. It is owned by Mark and Paulette Wetzel of Moundsville, who are pleased to serve the Ohio Valley. Just Right Lawn Care's float is a Grinch theme and was built by Mark, who spent long hours getting it ready for today. The float features Mark and Paulette's children and grandchildren. I'm glad we have services like that because I don't like cutting grass. <laughs> But Paul, I do cut my own. Yes. Paul Associates Realtor David Robbins specializes in buying and selling all types of real estate, including residential and commercial. He is licensed to cover all of West Virginia, but primarily focuses on Marshall and Ohio counties. David, his wife Marcy, with their son Carter, all live in Glendale and are lifelong residents of Marshall County. 707 is a new high school community youth group housed at Glendale United Methodist Church. It is open to all area teens and meets at 707 every Sunday. Their truck is decorated like Christmas candy land because candy certainly is a joy of Christmas. The theme for Relay for Life Marshall County this year is cancer. Not here, not there, not anywhere. Everyone's lives have been touched by cancer and you can help fight back. Last year, 19 teams relayed and raised over $46,000. This year's event will take place on June 3rd, 2023 at the John Marshall High School parking lot beginning at 6 p.m. A lot of characters in today's parade, yes. including the Mason Dixon Energy Service. Yes, the Grinch has tried to steal Christmas joy and a pre Noth T14 track truck from Mason Dixon Energy Services. Mason Dixon Energy Services was founded in 2018 and is a West Virginia based company that performs tactical pipeline maintenance and specializes in landslide repair and earthwork. We have a nice shot there of the Grinch again. There are several Grinches here trying to yes. steal Christmas. What are some other services today. that they s supply? Well, they supply right out of the way mowing, anomaly digs, stream and lake restorations, and utility improvements. That is one large tank there. Yes, it is. <laughs> That'd be perfect for all of his gifts that he tries to steal. I guess. He has them loaded up, yeah. up there, too. How about the IBEW? It's Local 141. These men and women are proud workers and partners of Ohio Valley communities. This year they are celebrating 120 years in business in the great state of West Virginia. They take great pride and honor working on projects throughout the valley and are excited to participate in this parade. They would like to wish everyone a safe and happy holiday season. Snowmen. And yes. snow ladies on the back of that float. <laughs> yes. My mom loves snowmen, so she loves this one. Up next is the, this is the Marshall County Historic Society. This group includes volunteers of the historic Cockane Farmstead in Glendale, a project of the Marshall County Historic Society. They are dressed for a Victorian Christmas. The Farmstead will hold its annual Christmas with the Cockane Open House on Thursday, December 8th from 6 until 8 p.m. and on Sunday, December 11th from 2 until 4 p.m. Next, we have WVU Medicine's float. Christmas in the park, and it includes a winter ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Everyone at Wheeling Hospital and Reynolds Memorial Hospital hope you create warm memories with family and friends this holiday season to cherish for seasons to come. Look, there's even a dog in that float. I see. Look at that youngster there. Yes. Looking all pretty in her purple. Yes, she looks like she's warm. <laughs> she's the one handing out the candy for WVU Medicine. Oh, here comes the Marshall County Fair Royalty. This includes 2022 Little Miss Marshall County Fair Queen Anna Conkle, daughter of Audra and Brent Conkle, and 2022 Junior Miss Queen Jersey Schaefer, daughter of Brandy and Jason Schaefer. 22 Marshall County Fair Preteen Queen Josie Richmond, and 2022 Marshall County Fair Queen Megan Doherty, daughter of Mike and Carrie Doherty and Kara Doherty. These ladies all competed at the Marshall County Fair in 2022 and now are considered Marshall County Fair royalty. Congratulations. Look at those crowns. Yes, they look so beautiful on those trucks. And look at that tree they decorated. Up next, we have Ash Avenue Church of God, which is located on the corner of Ash Avenue and Center Street in Moundsville. This season, they want to remind you that the greatest joy of Christmas is the gift of salvation through Jesus. They want to invite you to join them on December 9th and 10th from 6 to 8 p.m. for their annual 
live nativity along Ash Avenue. Check out their Facebook page and YouTube page for their worship services, and they also offer a long list of programs, including Sunday School, Adult Bible Studies, Kid City, and much more. Joy to the world. I see Angie Hot up there singing. She's from WJMH Media. Mr. Soltez from Marshall County Schools. And there's a nice shot there of Angie. Unified Bank is a community bank that is located in the community and always likes being a part of the community. This year, Unified Bank comes to the Marshall County Chamber of Commerce Christmas Parade with the theme, the Unified Express to your financial success. This is Unified Bank. I think that white car that we just showed was still a part of the Ash Avenue Church of God. So here is Unified Bank, a bank that's a part of the community, that likes to be in the community. Can I say community one more time? I think you can. Community. <laughs> Fairly new to Marshall County. They came here in Moundsville a couple of years ago, mm -hmm. but we like that they are a part of Moundsville. Are you keeping warm? Oh, I am. Are you? My hands are frozen. Oh. It's hard to flip through the scripts here with a pair of gloves on. Luckily, I was able to manage to do that. And up next is the Marshall County Panthers Youth Tackle Football Organization, started in 1999 by Gene Saunders and Rich Corley. The 20 varsity players are coached by Coach Boner, Coach Burge, and Coach Clark. There are also 20 junior varsity players who are coached by Matt Crow, Josh Myers, and Ryan Lizeski. Along with the football players this afternoon, Maria, the Panthers also have 15 cheerleaders. And here they are now. Cheer coaches include Chelsea Ryan, Aubrey Williams, and Ashley Wise. You hear the chant, let's go Panthers, let's go. They have a Grinch with them as well. West Virginia Northern Community College's O oh Christmas Tree themed float features WVNCC students and employees. And of course, the beloved Thundering Chicken. There he is on your screen. Recent improvements to the Wheeling campus include new parking lots, a new student success center, and new nursing labs. How about the health plan of the Upper Ohio Valley, which is the largest locally managed care organization in West Virginia and has 40 years of history of community and charitable giving. What about Newton? Who's that? Newton has made his arrival just a few months ago and is a friend to all. It doesn't matter if you're an apple, an orange, a banana, or not if you're done all. Newton is always looking to include people in the fun. Their brand new mascot. And oh. now we have the McMeckin Mustang football team. The team has been around for many years, and I actually am an alum of the Mustangs. An alum nah. Alumna. Right. If you were a male, you would be an alumnus. Yes. <laughs> and if you and I were both from there, we would be... Alumni. Yes, there is your English lesson from the Marshall <laughs> County Chamber of Commerce Christmas Parade. Yes. This group of flag football players, they are grateful for amazing coaches who go above and beyond for the team. The Mustangs of Center McMeckin. They have their jerseys on. And there are nope, some cheerleaders. I see a Santa beard. Oh. <laughs> Little kid grew his beard out for this yeah. to keep warm, I guess. Probably took him a while to get that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy, as Mickey Mouse would say. Here is local country singer and guitarist Stevie Lynn on the Mickey Mouse float. She is being sponsored today by American Electric Power. Stevie has been performing all over the Ohio Valley and beyond for over 10 years and has opened for some big name artists. She has recorded four cover CDs and you can find her music on iTunes and Spotify. Again this year, she is singing my favorite Christmas song of all time, Vince Vance and the Valiants. All I want for Christmas is you. And if you would like for her to sing that at your event, you can book her by visiting her website or stop by her Facebook page. I want to hear it. Beautiful, Stevie Lynn. Here is Trixie Callisee. 
She is the 2022 West Virginia Country Roads Festival Queen. This was the first year for the festival, which was held at the Wetzel County 4-H Grounds. It will continue to be held annually in September. She was a recent graduate of John Marshall High School. Yes, she was. And up next is Ayla Huggins. She is the 2022 Miss Preteen Shiloh Days. And Alyssa Huggins is 2022 Mrs. Wetzel County Autumn Festival. Look at that tree in the back of that truck. Wow. I'm glad none of these trees have blown over today. I know. Oh. The float for the Sarah Whitaker Glass School of Dental Hygiene at West Liberty University was hand-built and decorated by students who spent many hours of their evenings getting it ready. This year's float is titled, The Joys of Christmas are Filled with Healthy Smiles, and is decorated with joyous teeth showing off their healthy smiles. Students riding the float are working like Santa's elves to keep those walking in the parade road stocked with toothbrushes to distribute to those in attendance today. Brush your teeth, brush your teeth. Yes. You don't want any cavities. Next up is the Ohio Valley Roller Derby. The Roller Derby is a women's flat track roller derby team that has currently been around since 2010. They, they currently have 20 members. And they invite you to their boot camp at 2.30 p.m. on January 22nd. Stop by a practice to join the team or just enjoy derby in the valley. You can follow them on Facebook to see where Ohio Valley Roller Derby will be next. Next up is the... Prayer Hill Church is letting Christ's light shine this Christmas season as its street ministry team is sharing the message of Jesus' birth and soon coming. Sounds of shofars fill the air as they share music and raise the signs that Jesus saves. BTW, Maria, a shofar is an ancient musical horn typically made of a ram's horn. Wow. This entry right now includes a family-owned business. It's called P&S Farm Livestock Supply and More of Limestone. And they're also being joined by Tadich's Body Shop of Moundsville. Their float shows the joys of Christmas depicted with a grandmother reading Christmas stories to all her little ones as they listen, laugh, and have some of their favorite snacks while cuddled in their blankets next to the fireplace. MT Lawn Maintenance is a family locally owned business who specializes in commercial and large property mowing. They work with the city of Moundsville on several projects and are supportive of local sports and organizations. They are pleased to be a part of the Marshall County Chamber of Commerce Christmas Parade. Transformation Christian Center is a non-denominational church that has been part of the community since 2016. It's located at 416 Juniper Avenue in Moundsville. TCC wants to wish everyone a merry, very Merry Christmas and reminds you that Jesus is the sweetest gift at all. They invite you to worship with them on Sundays at 1030 a.m. We have another football team coming up. Yes, here comes the Washington Lands Junior Varsity and Varsity Flag football team. They are coached by Putty Piet. The cheerleaders are also here today. Right behind them, you can see them, the Wildcats cheer team. And, oh, there's the Grinch again. That Grinch just keeps getting back in the parade. Oh, no. I think he... He just keeps sneaking back on. Yeah, someone's going to have to go out there. Maybe Chief Mitchell can get rid of the Grinch. Yeah. We don't want a Grinch in the parade, do we? But I guess we have several. Guess we do. Next. The Washington Wild Things are getting ready to kick off their 21st season of professional baseball at Wild Things Park on May 18th, 2023. Don't forget, their merchandise and tickets to games make great holiday gifts. Just visit their website for more information. The Washington Wild Things. I was the on-field MC for the Washington Wild Things for two seasons. A great family-friendly atmosphere. Who's up next? Next is Carly Jo Cochran. She is the 2022 Junior Miss Queen of the Watsell County Autumn Festival. She is the daughter of Catherine and Todd Longwell of Benwood, and she enjoys teaming up with the Marshall County Caring Tree to provide people with needs. I hear another band. I do too. Who is it? It's the John Marshall High School Band. They are under the direction of Tracy Philbin. The, production, the percussion coordinator is Josh Garrett, and Chloe Broski serves as the field commander, and Cameron Anderson is the drumline captain. The band members would like to invite everyone to Monarch Tidings, which will be held in the John Marshall High School Center for Performing Arts on Thursday, December 8th at 6 p.m. You will be one of the hosts alongside WJMH reporter Ella Hun. I will also be playing in it since I am in the strings program. Very excited for that event. 
Also with the Marching Monarchs this afternoon, we have the cheerleaders keeping everyone hyped during the games. We're excited to have them here in the Marshall County Chamber of Commerce Christmas Parade, 52nd annual parade. Wow. I have not been to every one of them. Really? I'm not that old. Oh. Well, it's cold here, it but is. I know a place that's very cold. Oh. That's a lot colder than we are. I bet it is. Are you thinking of the North Pole too? I am thinking of the North Pole, and I'm also thinking of Main Street Bank, which is a locally owned and managed bank. Proud to present, guess who this year? Who? You don't know? I don't Take know. a look um, at the screen right now. Think. Oh, He's, is it Santa Claus? It is Santa, yes. Main Street Bank has multiple locations in the Ohio Valley, including Wheeling, Elm Grove, Wellsburg, and Mount West Virginia, and Toronto, Ohio. So what do you call Santa Claus? Some people call him Papa Noel, Chris Kringle. When we were kids, my grandmother would call him Ho Ho. There's St. Nick, Father Christmas. Our nephews, Carson and Colin, would call him Kaka. What about uh, you? Just either St. Nick or Santa Claus. Santa Claus, okay. Well, in Gene Autry's song, he says, here comes Santa Claus. Here comes Santa Claus. So guess who just went by our location? Santa Claus. <laughs> exactly. You got it. <laughs> All right. Well, Maria, it has been a great day here in Moundsville as we celebrated the start of the holiday season with the 52nd annual Marshall County Chamber of Commerce Christmas Parade. My favorite entrant today was Stevie Lynn. As always, she does sing your favorite song. Exactly. So she did it last year and it sounded great this year. It was even better. <laughs> How about you, Maria? Oh, I really enjoyed the WVU Medicine one, the One Horse Hope and Slay. I thought that was my favorite. Well, we were able to enjoy the parade today thanks to the hard work of WJMH Media's crew and everyone else involved, including our sponsors. Santa Premier sponsors for today's event are the City of Moundsville, the Marshall County Commission, and Southwestern Energy. We also have Silver Bell sponsors, which include Dr. Gary Lewis, Bear Heritage Federal Credit Union, EQT, Dr. Angela Petros, PLLC, Mike McCoy with State Farm Insurance, The Green Tab, iHeartMedia, and Main Street Bank. We would also like to thank the Marshall County Chamber of Commerce for asking WJMH Media to be the protection team for the parade again this year and there for helping us make the event run so smoothly. We would also like to thank the Christmas Parade Committee. I would also like to thank Police Chief Tom Mitchell for keeping us safe here at the location. And also, without the sponsors and everyone involved in today's parade, this event and our broadcast would not have been possible. Remember, you can watch a replay of today's broadcast anytime. It would be great to watch on Thanksgiving. Be great to watch on Black Friday. It would be great to watch Christmas. on Christmas Eve. Yes. It would be great to watch on Christmas. So anytime you want, all you have to do is stay here on our WTRF, or I'm sorry, WJMH Media <laughs> Facebook page, thinking about last night's parade, yes. and you can see the parade here in Moundsville anytime. And if you'd like to own a DVD copy of today's parade, you can do so by contacting WJMH Media at 304-843-4476. Again, that's 304-843-4476. We would like to recognize all of our WJMH crew members who have worked hard behind the scenes this afternoon to make this production a success. Students have put in a lot of work, not only today, but in the past two weeks leading up to the parade. Finally, we would like to thank you, the viewers at home, for your continued support of our program. While the 2022 Marshall County Chamber of Commerce Christmas Parade has come to an end, we hope you will stick around with us just for a few more minutes so that you can see some of the tree gala footage. It's beautiful, we had beautiful trees, beautiful wreaths. This will also include our credits. So this will give you a chance to see if you know if you recognize anyone's name who may have been behind the scenes today for today's production. Thank you so much for welcoming us into your home for this production of the Marshall County Chamber of Commerce Christmas Parade. For Maria Evans, I'm Tony Summers from the entire WJMH Media family. We wish you and your family a safe and happy holiday season. Always believe.